Please help me out of my phone. Hello and welcome to another wonderful day. Today we're gonna to be looking at biology. Very interestingly, we are looking at uh, classification of living things. Um, please, uh, if I can be heard clearly, can I get to know about that? Stephen, blessing, okay, Sola, let me know where my is clear. Can you guys hear me? Can anybody hear me? Blessing, can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, at an interesting topic in biology known as uh, classification, classification of living things, very, very important. And questions from classification of living things, they come out every year in your job. And we're going to look at the concept first. Then after looking at the concept, we're going to look at um, uh, some questions that are related to those, okay? So looking at what I have up here, you can see this is classification of living things. And living things are classified. You have generally, you have under kingdom. Then after kingdom, you talk about the phylum. Then after the phylum, you talk about the class. Then after the class, the order. Then after the order, family, genus, and finally species. So the kingdom is more or less encompassing for species of different of the, of similar characteristics so as you get to phylum you get to classes you get to family genus and species the number in the same species they are very few compared to the number in kingdom kingdom has bigger numbers of different kinds of animals or plants or living things but the more it gets up it gets the number of uh, animals you can, or plants or living things you can see gets lesser. Okay, so the biggest here is the kingdom. Then after kingdom, you talk about phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. So we can have more than one. Let's say now, let's take for instance, under kingdom animal, you can have Homo sapiens, which are human beings. You can also have the apes, the chimpanzee. All of them are under animal. Even small animal, the fishes, they are there. Or under phylum, because you can see here, kingdom animals are organisms that move on their own. But under codata are only animals with backbone. So the phylum of human being is codata because we are having backbone. So the vertebrates, only them, okay? Now, the underclass, human beings are classified under mammals. That means codatas with four and hair. That's animals that have four, that have hairs, like you have hair. Then under order, we are classified as primates. And primates are mammals with collar bone. So mammals with collar bone and mammals that have grasping fingers. Then under family, we are what we call hominids, which are primates with relatively flat faces and are three-dimensional vision that can see three-dimensionally. But under genus, we are, we are classified as homo, which are hominids, with upright posture because we can stand upright. And on that species, we are uh, classified as sapiens. That's how we are called the, the sapiens because we are members of a genus homo with a high forehead and thin skull. Form. Every living thing can have its own kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species of different names. You understand? But the name that you give any animal is gotten from the genus name and the species name. Human beings are homo, whereas their species name are sapiens, and that's why human beings are called homo sapiens. Are we clear on that? Uh, blessing, did you understand what I just said? Yes. Luashe, am I very clear? Yes, sir. You joined late today. Why? You're always the first to join my classes. Wow. I was doing something outside. Maybe you thought. I was doing something outside. 
will join later. Huh? Do you understand this first slide? Because this first slide is like a summary. I tried to summarize this because under classification, the, the lectures are very long. So I tried to put this together to make it easier. Do you understand that you can go from kingdom to phylum to class to order to family genesis? Yes, sir. And do you understand that the name, the Latin name or the classification name or the nomenclature given to every organism is just the combination of the genus name and the species name? Yes, sir. And do you understand that human beings are homo sapiens because homo is from their genus name and sapiens is from their species name? Yes, sir. And do you understand that the kingdom has many different kinds of animals or plants or living things. So as it gets to species or to genus, the number of the same kind of animal under them becomes smaller. Yes, sir. Okay. So with that done, we are going to move forward. So let's take a look at the next, uh, the next diagram. So this diagram shows us all the possible kingdoms that we have. We have the kingdom Animalia, which are animals, animals that have more than one cell. Animals with more than one cell, they call them eukaryotes. Whereas the ones with one cell, they call them prokaryotes. So animals with one cell, they are under the cell, under the kingdom known as animalia. Whereas plants that are with more than one cell, they are under the kingdom known as plantae. Then we also have the fungi, we have the protista, we have the the bacteria. Are we clear on that? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, in a way of explanation, under cell structure, you have their explain. You have them explained. Under this cell type, they are simply telling you the ones that started with prokaryote, prokaryote. They are single cell, unicellular organism. They are what? What did I say? They are single cell. They are unicellular organisms. Whereas the ones that have EU carriers, they are multicellular organisms. Are we clear on that? Let's understand that first. Now, secondly, we look at the cell structures. For the eukaryotes, the, the bacteria, they have a cell wall with uh, cellular, they have cell walls, they are autotrophs and heterotrophs. When will you hear the word autotrophs and heterotrophs? Autotrophs are Organism that can produce their own food. Heterotrophs that can get food, eat from others. So autotrophs, they are mainly green plants that can synthesize their food from photosynthesis, okay? So under Animalia, you have no cell walls or chloroplasts. Uh, definitely, they cannot produce their own food. They are multicellular, they are heterotrophs. Animals don't produce their own food. They get food from the autotrophs, which are uh, green plants. My examples are worms, insects, fishes, and mama. Luashi, are we clear on this? Yes. Okay, so let's look at plants. Plants are also multicellular, but they, this time around, they have cell walls. Animals, they don't have cell walls. Plants also have chloroplasts. That means that they are autotrophs. You can see it here, autotrophs. That means they can produce their food. So under mode of nutrition, you see, autotrophs simply means that they can produce their food. Heterotroph simply means that they don't produce their food. They feed on plants on other animals in order to survive. Okay. Okay. Examples of plants are mosses, stems, flowering plants. Now we look at fungi. They are also eukaryotic. That I means they are multicellular. I see most of them are multicellular. Some are actually unicellular. They also That I means they don't produce their own food. They depend on others. Example of fungi are mushrooms and yeast. So these tables are just summary of what we have done, reading like 10 pages or 15 pages on that classification of living things. So take note that there are uh, majorly these uh, kingdoms, and these are what you can see on that. Other particular and single cells, we have amoeba, paramecium, simple mode, mode. So they are mostly uh, unicellular, and some are also multicellular. Okay, so the next slide will explain this. Okay. Uh, listen, can you see this next slide? Yes. Okay. So can you tell me the kingdom that you can see there? The kingdom. Yeah, the kingdom. Just the kingdom. Okay. Okay. 
plant is animal animalia. Yes. Okay. Which other ones? Fungi, yes. Yeah, fungi and then protista. So those are the kingdoms. Are, are we clear on that? Yes. Just like what the former slide was showing us, animals are heterotrophs. They don't produce their own food. Uh, they get food from others. Whereas plants are autotrophs. They produce their own food by themselves. Okay. So in order to go deeper into this classification, that's when we go to this other slide. So the kingdom Monera, they contain unicellular organisms that are prokaryotic. And I say whenever you hear the word prokaryotic simply means single cell. So they have no nuclear membrane. So example is bacteria. And uh, so bacteria are mainly under Monera. So take note. And this is the diagram of the bacteria. So look at the next one, which are the, so this is a typical bacteria. So they constitute large domain of the prokaryotic microorganisms. They are very, very small. They can be in form of rods and spirals. And bacteria inhabit the soil. You can see them in the soil or water. They can be anywhere. They are actually the things causing disease. So when you hear bacteria infection, you go and drink antibiotics. So these are the microorganisms that cause this uh, problem. Okay. Uh, you also have the amoebas. They are very micro too. I don't want us to spend so much time on this. Then we have the Euglena viridis. Uh, one very important thing is that you guys are supposed to know this diagram. Because in jam, they might just sketch something like this and tell you to name it. And that's why you need to know the diagram. So this is a typical diagram of an amoeba. Oluwashi, can you see this? Yes, sir. That's why they call it shapeless amoeba, isn't it? Because it's not having a good shape. So this is a typical amoeba. So in case if you see this and they tell you to uh, name, well, what kind of animal is this? What kind of unicellular organism is this? This is a euglena. This is the typical uh, a diagram of a euglena. Know that the euglena has this. It has chloroplast, nucleus. This is what we call flagella. It tells them in their movement. So take note. It has eye spots known as, uh, can you see these eye spots? So all these uh, diagrams, the way they are illustrated, you're supposed to know them. Because Jam could easily draw these and label something. They will ask you the figure, I labeled I, what is it? So you are supposed to know. So take note of the most important aspects of these diagrams, like this. Vagella, very, very important, the chloroplast, the nucleus, the eye spot, the contractile vacuole, very important. Then this next one, this is the paramecium, you can see. Uh, paramecium is always looking like a, uh, your slippers, your shoe, the shoe that you wear. That's, uh, that's the, normally the sketch. So this is a fungi. Mushroom is a very uh, important example of a fungi. Okay, so under the under the plant kingdom, you have other classifications, uh, which we might not go through now. But when we are doing past questions, we can see. so this is more called there. There is the talophyte, there is there are bryophytes, and uh, other further classifications. Okay. Then there is also pteridophytes or pen. Then we will not get down to spermatophytes where we have the gymnosperms and other classes. Flowering plants known as angiosperms. Then we will not have the uh, animals. You have the invertebrates, the ones that don't have backbone. They are known as invertebrates, under which we have the polentratas, where we have the hydras, sea animals, jellyfish, and corals. They will have the platforms known as blethehamis. Okay, where we have the blood fluke and the liver fluke. They will have the roundworms, it's known as nematode, uh, under which we have hookworm, guinea worm, and the rest of them. Okay, then we'll have the anthropods. Another word for the anthropods are insects. 
the spiders, the centipedes, or to the crayfish. So all these ones are under antipodes. They will have the analida, the analids, under which we have the earthworm and the leeches. They have the mollusks, under which we have the snail, the octopus. So very importantly, you need to know about this. Then the, the above that I mentioned, all of them are invertebrates. They don't have backbone, but for the backbone, the vertebrates, under that you can have the fishes, Okay, it's not very important. We have the amphibians, the ones that live both in, on land and water. Example is frog, toad, and the rest. Then we have the reptiles. Example is lizard, crocodile, tortoise, and uh, snake and turtle. We have the birds that fly. Okay, and stay on land as well. And finally, I think we have the mammal. So this is where human beings are classified. These are the uh, prominent features of mammals. Okay. Adaptation. Uh, most importantly, you need to look at the pictures of the various uh, major organisms, especially the ones I've shown you. The unicellular organisms like... The uh, paramecium. The Euglena, the Ameba. So very importantly, study this diagram, study them, understand these various uh, basic classification, and also read your notes. So maybe I have to send this note. I will have to send it to uh, to the WhatsApp group. For those of us, I will only send it to those of us that belong to the special group. Very very importantly, special group is bubbling. That's where things are happening. If, if you're not there, then you're missing. Our teachers are always ready to help students there. If you have any questions, both class assignments and any form of question, submit it on in the special group. That's where you'll be taken care of. Then very importantly, like I told us all, we've launched our new uh, platform. That is where you learn now. That is where you learn. If you want to get there, you can simply type HTTPS double forward slash STPPLs colon double forward slash educate Africa dot com. That is where we're working from now. So please go there. Make sure you're there. You're having lectures there. Our lectures are free. Download our app. If you don't have our app yet, our test reader app uh, is on the website. You can see the link there. Download it. Once you download, ask me. If in for activation. Blessing, was it you that activated the last time? Yes. Okay, I hope you are enjoying the app. Yes, sir. Okay, so please uh, get the app. Then once you open the app, can you see where they wrote more? On more, yes. yes. Yes, yes. Once you click on that more, it will link, it will link you up to the Educate Africa, this same uh, website I'm talking about. So that you can now have free teaching there. We have to use the app to practice your CBT drills. But the actual teaching you can see on Educate Africa. So once you click on that, learn more, you'll be able to be led to the to the our uh, sites where you learn for free. So uh, please maximally use use the tools that we have so that you can go. Those, those first questions we took our time to solve them. We did a lot of research so that we make sure that once you use them. Uh, most of the things we are teaching you here is now. Uh, all of most of them are going to be covered there. So use our website, use our resources, and make sure you join the class. Uh, blessing, you now know how to join the class now. Did you? Yes, sir. Okay, our classes are every day from six to eight p.m. So six to seven is the first period, and the first period is normally for sciences. 
and also English and maths, first period. Then the uh, second period is seven to eight, and that is for sciences. And I've also shown us the timetable. If you check the group chart, you'll see the timetable. So we are following our timetable strictly. Once it's six o'clock, we start. We don't waste even one minute. It's the only one day that we miss out starting in time, but that is not our culture. In Educate Africa, our culture is to make sure that we deliver in time and make sure that our students are in time and also get in the class. Once you follow our online classes and you do all that we tell you, the, your, your uh, possibility of passing increases it. That is why we are here so long. So if you want to join the special group, you simply call me on phone or chat me up on WhatsApp. My phone number is plus 234. 070 this is my phone number plus 234 Once you chat me, I'll just say hi to me. I'll help you with how to download our app, how to pull our classes, how to be added on a special group so that you'll be following our classes adequately and you'll be able to pass your exam. So thank you. I'm very happy that you guys joined. Thank you. God bless you. See you when I see you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.